This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss two power query functions and those two power query functions are table dot remove rows and table dot remove matching rows. Fine. So what does table dot remove rows does? So table dot remove rows takes one argument as table. Another argument is offset means the number and optional argument is count. So if you don't give the count, it will remove that particular offset. So offset start from zero in power query. We have to remember that. And finally it returns a table. So it takes a table, it returns a table. So table as the first argument offset number and the optional argument is count. So let's look at an example. So in this example, this is the table remove rows. That's what the we are doing. And then the argument is zero. So we are going to remove the zeroth row and what would happen? It will return the, uh, the rows with the three rows because zero, one, two, three offset means mm -hmm. offset start from zero. Now in the second example, we are saying, uh, offset one. So it could remove the second row. And in the third example, we are saying from offset start from the offset one and remove two rows. So it's going to remove the two rows from the offset one. So this is how the uh, remove rows works. Now let's look at remove matching rows. So in the remove matching rows, the table dot remove matching rows. Again, we take a table as an argument row as a list. We take a row as a list, what row you want it to implement and optional equation criteria. So let's look at it. This is the table from the records which we are creating. And here we are seeing a equal to one is my row which you should remove and the uh, optional criteria we have given is a so it's going to return us three and four because a equals to one is available in these two rows and it is getting removed so now let's go ahead and try these things out and we'll we'll uh, jump onto the power bi so on the power bi uh, we need to open power query to make this work so we go to the home tab transform data transform data and this opens up power query for us and in power query we are going to try out this now to try remove rows we can even take the existing table and remove the rows and create a new table so let's do that first and then we'll take up the example from the net so what we are going to do is table 2 is there and then because we just want to remove based on the offset so it's pretty easy we say new source and uh, in the home time new source blank query i click on the blank query and it creates a new query for me double click on the blank query name and say remove rows right click advanced edit a new code now in the source we are going to call a table reference we are not creating a data here table dot remove rows and in the remove rows we call table 2 it's not going to do anything to table 2 okay it's only here i am going to get a new table with the removed rows so i say offset offset i say let's say 1 let remove the first row the offset 1 means the row 2 so here we are getting one, three and four. Again, we have one, two, three and four there. So we are getting one, three and four. Let me say zero. It removed the first four, two, three, four. Let me say what happens if I give minus. It gives me error. Let's say what happens if I say five, which is not available in this one. It gives me an error row. It's try to delete that row. What happens if I make it seven? Okay, again, only the fifth row is giving us error. And if I click on the empty space, it do show me the error that we are not enough elements for operation to perform. So if we have four rows, maximum, what we can do is offset three and I can delete the offset three. Now we have been taught that we, with the offset, we can give the numbers also. So let's give after three offset, which is last line. Let's give, we want to remove four rows. What does it do? It do gives us error because only one row it can remove that there. And I'm giving more than that. So let's try with the one it does able to delete that one row without error. Now let's start with the offset one, which is the second row and try to delete two rows. So starting with offset one means the second row and try to delete the two rows. So two and three should get removed and we get one and four. Okay. So we are able to do that. Now we can have the table as well as the um, data in the same one. So we can copy this uh, remove records from here. Uh, table dot from records from here and what we what we can do is we can go to power query start a new source blank query 
again we call it as a remove row double click or right click and rename remove rows one advanced editor right click advanced editor or under the home tab we have this we only give the source code from record table we got a table here now i can change the same step or i can create a new step i can go ahead and create a new step and i say underscore remove rows equals to table dot remove rows now it's giving error why it is giving error because we have not given comma in the last line so the last line is not ended we are still working with the second line now what does it take table from the last step which is source the operation is remove from zero offset zero three rows let's remove from offset zero three rows so first three rows we wanted to remove this is like first n okay now can we do last n by giving a higher offset can we have that now first of all it's not removing any row why it is not removing any row advanced editor we are not returning the correct one now it is removing can i give a higher offset like 3 and then remove minus 2 rows it doesn't work so it doesn't take negative so i can create first 10 i can't create last 10 from here so let me only remove us one row so if i start from zero and if i remove certain, certain row it would be like you know delete first and rows or remove first and rows that we can do but i can't make it last 10 by giving the negative offset so we are able to remove the rows now we wanted to remove the matching rows so the second example we wanted to do is table dot remove matching rows so let's try out this one now here uh, we need to give some row conditions so let's try out again with the table two first as the reference again we have a column a here and column b also here and we can have a similar kind of condition like one and two so why don't we do that so let's say in the home tab new source blank query and let's right click and rename this remove matching right click advanced editor table dot remove matching rows table 2 table 2 as a space now we need to give a condition rows a equals to 1 let's see how the condition has been given there in the angular bracket we have to give we actually has close removed by matching rows and let's give comma a and close it and let me put into the three rows so that you are able to relate with the example and also able to relate here so let's see what does ha what happens here so we don't see a equal to one here what happens when i remove a from here does it still work it's not working here okay let me add b here instead of a it gives error Oh, we make a mistake let's give b again it gives an error i give a again it works can i give more than one records so let me try out comma and b value we have to check the value what we have for the b actually for before we do that so we go here and let's look at the table so here we have value for one a two b we have same kind of values but let's try uh, one and a the combination one and a So can we say B equals to double quotes A it's working in the same direction but we, we are not sure because is it deleting uh, this based on this one so let's give B is equal to B because we, that's the second row value and still it is able to delete it why because this, we have given A and still taking condition on A so now let me do one thing let me comma give b consider both of them and now it's not deleting because none of the conditions are getting satisfied 
because I'm saying where A is equal to 1 and B is equal to B, that's the place it should release, but there is no record like that. If I give A, then it is going to remove. Now what we are going to do, because that a, a, example there on the online was a little bit interesting, I'm going to take this as is, and I'm going to experiment the same thing what we have done here, removing the um, on the multiple criteria. So what I'm going to say, new source, blank query under the home tab, and then right click rename or double click rename, remove matching one and I go to advanced editor I paste this and let me say column B and you, as you can see this is start giving error because the condition all is only on A so if I give A here commit to it, it's able to delete the two rows. Why it is able to delete the two rows? Because A equal to one is there in the two rows. Now let's add the condition B equals to, we have six and two, B equals to two. Commit, no changes, still deleting the two rows. Now we have to go give a list and we say A comma B, list we are giving here in double quotes double quotes and angular brackets a and b matching the case also so now it is only recording removing this one because this is the only one which is satisfying this condition and if doesn't satisfy condition let's say b is equal to 5 i give there is no con no rows where b equals to 4 with the one so it's going to give me all the rows because there is no matching row it can remove so you can give multiple criteria comma separated and you can make it the column whichever you want and based on that it can do that so you can go ahead and try these two function out, remove rows and remove matching rows. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comment, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.